Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel guys today we are going to be actually doing a community team of the season vote it's actually official we are on the ea website fifa 21 that is the car design well that's a mini car design it's a nice car design i have to be honest it's a nice car design and the community team of the season i've already done my vote and um, well kind of did my vote before i could actually get on the website but now I can see all of the players, I'll probably do a different vote. And before we get into it, hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you do, smash like down below, subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. And the way we're going to basing this is just players that I've maybe included in other team of seasons. I've done a bit of research around the leagues and seen, you know what, that guy's playing really well. Or I would just honestly like them in FIFA, guys. So this might be a bit different. You might have seen one that I did on TikTok. It was... Yeah, it might be a bit different to this one because now I can see the players. Now I can think, you know what? An Ariola in goal would be brilliant. But I'm going to stick with my first choice, which was Galassi. And you can see we're on the EA website. I'll leave a link to this actually in the description. So if you guys want to do it as well. But in goal, I'm going to go for Galassi. And you can see already that last year's team of the season was good in some areas. But overall, it wasn't the best. Now, this is the community vote. You have to have only had one special card to have featured in this well one um performance based card to actually feature in this one so if you've had two informs you cannot appear in this team some good players here though we have david alaba we have baku and now i've been doing my bundesliga premier league la liga team of the season predictions and baku is apparently amazing uh, in real life but I'm going to go for David Alaba in that first spot because, I mean, David Alaba, team of the season, would be insane. And now the fact that Bayern Munich aren't in the Champions League anymore, his run to the final won't be getting any upgrades. David Alaba would be phenomenal. Next to him, I couldn't go past Goldson without putting him in because Rangers have been amazing. And if you think the link to headliner Tavernier and definitely uh, team of the season Tavernier, that link will be amazing. And I think Goldson actually has an okay FIFA card at the moment. So it's one definitely I would recommend for everyone to put in. He's English. He's got the links to Ryan Kent, Tavernier. Just whack him in the team. Speaking of having links, I'm going to go for Justin. And to be honest, my knowledge of the other players isn't great. But I think Justin in the Premier League has been fantastic. Lesser have definitely missed him. Had a really serious injury towards the end of the season. And would have been one. You're looking at thinking... Yeah, he could get in the Premier League team this season, to be honest. He was playing that well. Left back, right back, didn't matter. He was scoring golazos. <laughs> he was um, an amazing player, a really, really good player. That leaves the left back spot, but we don't have to put a left back in there. We've got the likes of Mings. We've got the likes of Senesai. Hopefully I've pronounced that right. Tab Tagliafico, Tapsoba, Zuma. But I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm going to be a little bit biased here. I'm going to go Aaron Wavisaka and... To be honest, although my knowledge of these other players isn't great, he's definitely had a better season than um, Mings. He's definitely had better seasons than a few of these other players. I think Dinier he's been better than. He's been really consistent. So the position Manchester United are in, second in the league, still in Europe. Obviously, he's had a good team. This, he, he's had a good season. And I think he deserves a team of season. He's been included for the vote, so I'm going to put him in there. Now into the midfield. A few players here. And it's interesting. If you've been nominated for the community team this season... I think you can also be in the league team of season that you are actually applicable for. So the likes of Marino. Marino is in my uh, prediction for the La Liga team of season. Actually, in the first 11, I do believe. He's had an outstanding season for Real Sociedad. So I'm going to leave him out because of that reason. We do have Valverde. And if you think of FIFA reasons, Valverde would be phenomenal. He's had a good season. And Dombele the same. I think a lot of Spurs fans would be upset if I didn't put Hoiberg in. So I'm going to recognise Hoiberg and say, yeah, he's had a very solid season. I think without him, where would Spurs be? I mean, where would Spurs be without a few players? But overall, in FIFA, if we're looking, I'm talking Undombele. This is purely FIFA-based. We are talking Valverde in midfield next to him. And even Zielinski would potentially get it in. Um, I think for the last spot, guys... Chiesa would be good. Chiesa is a really nice pickup. The fact he's in midfield as well as a centre forward is a nice option. I think Nkuku's had a phenomenal season. I'm going to take Nkuku. Why not? And this is the thing about team of season. I've seen people getting annoyed at people for their votes, saying that, oh, why are you picking players that, you know, you're, why are you picking these players? Why are you doing that? 
it's FIFA. At the end of the day, it's a game, and you could vote for players maybe like uh, Vanaken. He'll probably get the one from his league. You could vote for Skip, for example. You might be a Norwich fan. You might. He's from Spurs, isn't he? You might want him in the team this season. Let's be honest, guys. It's a popularity contest. Contest at the end of the day, the players that everyone wants to use in FIFA, and. Yeah, if we're basing it on that, then that's my midfield. Valverde, Nkuku and Ndombele, because they would be phenomenal to use. And if you're telling me next week I can get my hands on these cards, why would I, I want to get them in my team? Speaking of FIFA, Edward would be phenomenal. His card last year was so fun to use. It was genuinely so fun to use. A really good card. We have Hosolu, who's actually voted for, uh, nominated for in the team of the year. We have Keane. We also have the likes of Horta, we have Yilmaz, Zapata, Yilmaz, he destroyed, who did he destroy? He destroyed a team, I can't remember who it was, in the national team, he destroyed a team. The picks for me here, Belotti would be a good one, Barnes would be a good one. I think Antonio's had a good season, but it's been affected by injuries, you would say. He's been really consistent though, so he does fall into it. I'm going to go for Daka, and I'm also going to go for Keane, guys. So that is my vote. Daka, Edward Keane, Nkuku, Ndombele, Valverde, Wambisaka, Alaba, Goulton, Justin, Golassi. And I'm purely basing this on the fact that these would be phenomenal to have in FIFA. But not only that, I think a lot of them have performed really well in real life. Goulton, Justin, Wambisaka, Golassi. They're all in there for a reason. And it's just a vote at the end of the day, guys. It's just a vote. So as I say, I'll leave a link to this vote down in the description. That is my vote. Team of the Season starts next week. Expect a lot of Team of the Season content coming to the channel very, very soon. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this very short video. I will submit my vote. And it is confirmed. So there we go. I will uh, even, you know what, will download the image as well. Why not? I'll catch you guys in the next one.